I would like to demonstrate auto drill in Symmetron version 9. What we have here is a mold ejector retainer plate and uh, I've taken the liberty to place uh, a whole bunch of uh, ejector pins on this plate pretty much uh, one of each size from uh, 1 8 all the way up to uh, I, I believe 3 quarters of an inch and on the other side uh, I put in a whole bunch of screws not that that would be practical in a, in a mold application uh, but for the sake of showing auto drill uh, there's uh, quite a few screw sizes again from um, I think a number six all the way up to uh, a three-quarter inch diameter so what we're going to do is we're going to look at how auto drill works so first I click on uh, procedure we're going to choose uh, drill and automated drill 3x and that takes us into an environment here where it identifies all of the holes uh, that can be drilled from this particular setup and if, if I click on group manager uh, I could pick the holes one by one or I can box pick and middle click and then I get uh, groupings so what it's doing is it's identifying the similar holes and giving them uh, a similar color and creating a group for them over here. Now if I wanted to program these one by one I would simply click on define modify sequence and I pick on one of these holes and then it identifies the hole uh, and it's all parameter driven so that uh, for instance let's just grab a tool here and uh, so drilling would begin at DP and drilling um, would would end down here at parameter C so I don't care how, how deep the hole is I just tell it to machine down to the parameters and it takes care of it so these could be all different holes and it would still attack it the same way and then once you define uh, how you want it to be done up here uh, we can define uh, a geometric range for uh, saving a template or a, we call it a sequence in this case so if we can see that up here uh, the top of the counter bore is 0.79 but maybe uh, some designs might come in from different softwares and that 790 might you know range by a couple thousands so we can put a range here and we can say okay from now on in the future when there's a counter bore from maybe 788 all the way up to 812 we'll call that a counter bore for, for this type of hole and the same thing with the diameter um, we can see that right now this diameter is a fixed diameter of 531 but we could put a range of 530 to 532 there and then we save this as a, a sequence and the next job that we go to program it'll look for that uh, geometry in that range and it will uh, attach this sequence to it without us having to program it again. So um, I do have quite an extensive library of uh, sequences and uh, of course we always give those away uh, when we sell the software we come in and we uh, do implementation and we uh, we give whatever we have. So I'm going to choose on uh, auto fit sequence and just hit the check mark and just like that it went in and uh, identified all these holes that could be drilled and it did them now over here you'll see that uh, I'm doing uh, pocket milling uh, in this hole now if I wanted to do a drill a pilot drill and a spade drill I would of course have that option but uh, I've elected to use a, a one inch diameter cutter and just do uh, circle milling with a helical interpolation uh, for roughing so that, that's the beauty of auto drill. It's not automatic machining, uh, it's automated. That means that you decide how you want to machine things. 
and then uh, you tell the software this is our process and then the software looks at the geometry and attaches your process to it. So let's just go back in here real quick I'll show one more little thing. Uh, we're going to modify the sequence. We'll look at this one. Okay, uh, again, uh, here's all the parameters and let's, let's just have a look at, we'll step through the process. So even while we're setting this up and we're saying, okay, look, the spot drill begins at uh, DP and it machines down to DP with a hundred thousandths below. So if I click on this little box, I can see the tool position there just to make sure that that's what I expect that I'm getting. And again, here's the uh, 406 drill. And you can see that it's poking through the bottom of the hole. We can tell it we want to go to C at the full diameter of the tool with 50 thousandths additional. And then here's the uh, counter bore, the top of the hole, and the bottom of the counter bore. So it's a really, really neat way to uh, visualize what you're doing to make sure you're not making any mistakes. And uh, the nice thing too is that we don't have to even set up uh, RPM and feed rate. You only do it once in your tool library and then every time you go grab a drill or uh, a tap or anything like that, uh, the feed rate and the RPM comes in with the tool. So I mean it's incredibly fast to do drilling with this automated drilling. Alright, so now let's flip over to the other side. Now we're going to activate um, the uh, UCS-13, which would be the bottom side. And we'll do a procedure again. And we're going to go to the group manager, box pick. and auto fit And now on this side, all of the uh, counter board screws are done. And uh, keep in mind too that it wouldn't matter uh, if this plate were flat. If I had, if this was like a, um, you know, a mold B plate where I had a lot of different uh, levels, I could have, um, uh, I guess, holes of varying lengths sitting at various levels on the block and it wouldn't matter. It, you just box pick them and say do it and it intelligently drills them making sure to lift up high enough to go to the next hole as to not collide with anything. Uh, so again it's just an incredibly fast tool for drilling.